Hey guys, my name is Chaotic, and in today's Grand Theft Auto 5 video, I'm going to be discussing all the new features that will be coming to Grand Theft Auto 5 on the PC when the game is released on April 14th. So without any further ado, let's get straight into this video. So with just 11 days to go until Grand Theft Auto 5 is released on the PC, as when this video is being made, the hype for the game's release is going stronger and stronger each day, as Rockstar bring out new information, new screenshots and new trailers to promote the game's release. But over the past couple of days, a number of you guys have been asking me on my Facebook and Twitter pages, as well as through the YouTube comment section, whether Grand Theft Auto 5 is worth buying on the PC, and what new features will be coming to the PC version of the game. Now in fairness, these are very good questions. At the end of the day, Grand Theft Auto 5 has been out for almost a year and a half now, so you have to question whether it's worth doing, especially if you're buying the game for a second or third time. So I thought I would make a video and let you guys know about all the new features which you can expect to see in the PC version. So getting straight into things, with the main noticeable difference of course being the huge improvement in graphics. Of course it will come down to what PC you have and what components you have in your PC, but for those people that have a fairly decent PC, you'll be able to run Grand Theft Auto 5 at a full 4K resolution, which will be incredible. You'll also have a much longer render distance than what you would expect to see on consoles, you'll also have improved textures, depth and all that sort of stuff. Now what some of you may or may not know is that Grand Theft Auto 5 is limited to 30 frames per second on all consoles, but on the PC you'll have the ability to play up to 60 frames per second. Now once again this will be dependent on your PC specs and whether your PC can run at this capacity, but as long as you have a fairly decent PC you should be able to run the game at 60 frames per second. But anyway, moving on to the next feature, Grand Theft Auto 5 on the PC will support up to three monitors. So basically, you can play the game on up to three monitors, giving you a much better playing view and a much better experience when playing the game. The next new feature is also exclusive to the PC version of the game. There'll be brand new songs and music added to the game, as well as a brand new radio station named The Lab. Now as I'm sure you guys know, a number of features which may be coming to the PC version of the game have been leaked and rumoured throughout the Grand Theft Auto 5 community over the past couple of months, and one of these features gives you the ability to control your car signals. All the cars in the game have indicators fitted to them, but at the moment there is not a feature on Xbox or PlayStation consoles which allow you to control them. What some of you may have noticed is that some AI characters sometimes use the indicators when turning into roads. Now although there isn't currently a feature on the Xbox and PlayStation consoles to control the signals and the indicators, there will be a feature on PC which allows you to do so. Now for those people that enjoy making videos, you'll be happy to hear that Rockstar is including a built-in recording software into the PC version of the game which allows you to create and edit videos which you can share to YouTube or the social club. But finally, a feature which many people are looking forward to and was also very popular on Grand Theft Auto 4 and previous Grand Theft Auto games is the mods feature. Now when I say mods, I am not referring to the abusive and destructive mods which exploit the game like unlimited money mods and all that sort of stuff, I am referring to the fun mods like character mods where you can change your character's skin to characters such as the Hulk and Iron Man, and when using mods like these, you can also use their special abilities as well, for example the Hulk has super strength and super jump, Iron Man has the ability to fly and all that sort of stuff. Being able to use mods would also allow you to add new cars into the game which aren't even available, as well as add new features and customizations to these cars such as lift kits, weapons and all that sort of stuff. But a few months ago, the developers of a mod known as IC Enhancer, which is basically a graphics mod, they have said they're going to be creating a graphics mod for Grand Theft Auto 5. Now for those people who aren't too familiar with the IC Enhancer mod, there are a few screenshots being displayed in the video right now of the IC Enhancer mod being used in Grand Theft Auto 4, and as you can see the graphical improvement is absolutely incredible, and I myself cannot wait to see something like this in Grand Theft Auto 5 when it becomes available, but apart from that, there may be other features which may be included in the PC version of the game which have not been announced yet, but I guess we'll have to wait until April 14th when the game is released on PC to know for sure. But apart from that, that is that's all I have for this video, but I do hope you guys have enjoyed it. If you guys could take a few seconds out of your day to click the like button, it would help me out a lot and it's also greatly appreciated. Also be sure to leave a comment on this video and let me know what feature you're looking forward to most on the PC version of the game. And if you have not subscribed to my YouTube channel already, I'd recommend that you do, because I upload all the latest and the greatest Grand Theft Auto 5 content. So once again, thank you guys for watching and I will see you guys next time.